Hey everyone, welcome back to Hardly Brief Dev. I'm Dan, and I've got some exciting news that maybe you haven't heard yet. If you're interested in learning Unreal Engine and building your dream game, then stay tuned because I think this is your sign to jump in and start learning game dev and creating your dream game. So if you haven't heard, JetBrains Rider, one of the best IDEs for game development, and the one I use and helped me get comfortable coding in Unreal Engine, is now completely free for non-commercial use. This means whether you're a student, a hobbyist, or just getting started in game dev, you can use this powerful tool at no cost while you learn. For those of you who are not familiar with Rider, it's one of the top IDEs out there and it works extremely well with Unreal Engine. I'm a programmer and coming to UE, I was scared to jump into C++ like so many people are. Just thinking about learning a new language, and one that I could remember was scary and difficult with pointers, managing memory, a crazy way to even print statements to, to the log, and so many more things, it wasn't very motivating. But I knew to unlock Unreal's full potential, it would be something I needed to learn one day. So I decided at one point it was time to learn C++ and implement Unreal Engine's gameplay ability system, which I'll have to make a video on later. But it's one of those systems that I really wanted to add to my project. To do this, I needed to start learning C++ and start programming, and I had to pick a development environment. First, I went with VS Code. I'm comfortable with it, and it's something I use all the time for my other development projects. But I struggled with that setup, and eventually moved to Visual Studio. Even there, I was ran into so many problems, and was just convinced, it was like an omen, that it wasn't my time to pick up C++, and I would just stick with Blueprints. But with a determination to use the gameplay ability system, which again, I'll have to create a video on, was on the top of my list. And so I had to power through this, and this is where Rider comes into play. I started with the Rider free trial, and with how easy it was to set up my project and how intuitive the interface was, I quickly got comfortable and could start developing and learning C++ with Unreal Engine. It made the process of building and developing exponentially easier for me. And it helped me stay motivated to build, which ultimately is the most important thing, because at the end of the day, I wanna build a game. And again, this is coming from someone who still uses VS Code and Visual Studio almost daily. So if you've been thinking about learning C++ for game dev, there's really no better time than now. Rider is free, it's powerful, and it works extremely well with Unreal Engine. And guess what? I've got something that's going to help you do just that. I have been working on an up and coming course that will teach you the basics of C++ and how to use it to build some of the most important systems you're going to need in almost any game. Check out the link in the video or in the description to sign up and get notified. In this course, we are going to cover the core systems such as an interaction system for picking up objects, talking to NPCs, or gathering materials. We're going to create an item and inventory system for managing everything your character collects to even creating chests that can store valuables. We're going to design and build a simple ability and damage system so that we can add some fun and juice to the course. We're even going to add a quest and dialogue system that will really bring depth to your game's narrative. All this and so much more you can see here on the screen. This course is packed full of useful material, including a free ebook that will review the core concepts and basics of game development. It follows a very structured approach where we'll first learn about a core concept. So we're gonna learn about interaction systems, for example. We'll then jump into the design. How do we wanna design this system? Then we're gonna use C++ and Blueprints to go ahead and build that system. And then most importantly, we're gonna play. Every section of this course includes a playable milestone where you will have a working and playable game to test and expand upon after each and every section. All these systems are the foundation for almost every game out there, from RPGs to action adventures, and by the end of the course, you will have your own set of reusable game systems truly ready to plug into your project. If you've been wanting to learn Unreal Engine, C++, or both, this is definitely your chance. With Rider now free for non-commercial use, and my course right around the corner, there's really no better time to design and build your next game. So be sure to check out my website and sign up to get notified when the next course releases. If you're brand new to Unreal or looking to get started in game development, I do have a free course that is out now on Udemy. With over 1400 students, this course goes over the basics and teaches you how to build a little puzzle game using blueprints. Of course, I'm also releasing longer tutorials on this channel and quick game dev tips to help you in your game dev journey. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss out on the release of my up and coming course or other tips and tutorials I've got coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.